GE test facility at Erie, Pennsylvania in the United States. Testing commences for the Indian Railway's most powerful locomotive 6000 horsepower starting June 2018. Here you see the first of those units on track, first time on track on the GE testing facility. This is based on the ES58 ACMI 6000 horsepower single cab. The ES43 was a dual cab. This is a GE Evolution Series 1. Our Indian units are modified and redesigned for Indian condition based on the ES57 MI. Here we see the full view of the on track load test using uh, three standard evolution series. Testing continues in the month of July for the Indian Railways IR6000 as the GE calls it, the unit number one and two through July on the GE track tracks. The first of the testing involves the magnetic field testing under full load. Here they measure the electromagnetic radiation that is generated out of the diesel electric locomotive because the diesel electric locomotive has those traction motors which generates the electromagnetic forces. The second one is the addition testing, the track addition testing. How good is the locomotive in an uphill gradient? and what is the wheel slippage. The measurement of this decides the aggression tracking and is a very important factor in diesel locomotive testing. And that's for the aggression testing. The Evolution series is the most popular diesel electric locomotive produced by General Electric and it has been successfully sold to many countries including India but the Indian units are really modified ones. The first of the 100 units that they arrived are the WDG4G which is based on the ES43 SCMI which is 4500 horsepower. This one is the single cab ES58 ACMI and in, is still left to be seen in the Indian colors. Now coming up is the first two units Indian Railway 6000 horsepower unit 1 and unit 2 on the test tracks with track actual load being locomotives, two locomotives. Those locomotives are not powered, so they are actually dead loads with their full weight being pulled by these two Indian locomotives. Indian Railway 6000 mass power unit 1 and 2 on test tracks. GE test track facility in Erie, Pennsylvania. These are single cab versions. I asked someone why 6000 horsepowers have been designed with single cab and not dual cab. The answer was the radiator units which is on the rear side generates so much of heat and that is almost impossible to put a cab in just after that. And it requires a large space to get rid of the heat that is generated by the 6000 as power power plant. That's the reason the 6000 as power locomotives have only one cabin. The WDG4G on the other hand which is the 4500 as power has dual cabins. So what you see behind are the standard G evolution series locomotives in different colors belonging to different countries being used as a load for these current locomotives throughout time coming up 
one bit and the other. The, the diesel locomotives are typically used in back-to-back -back configuration that means with a single unit both sides you have the cabin. November 2018 the season the testing in snow and typically minus 10 degrees minus 20 degrees in this part of the country and those are the new revolution series you can see revolution series printed on those locals so we had uh, the full series of testing and finally the month for the December month was for the IR's final testing before shipment of the first two units. Here we are, the first two units being shipped to India. WDG6G, that is the name for the loco. And the name plate here, ES57 ACMI. AC denotes AC traction motors and DC denotes DC traction motors. This is the second unit of WDG 6G. Production to continue through March and more units will be shipped to India. Here the first units arriving in India at Mundra port on February 2019. Thank you very much for watching. And soon you will see these wonderful units on our track. Have a great day and see you soon.